Jcast Network. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. Hurricane Sandy devastated the East Coast, and the Jewish community has come out in droves to help those in need. From children setting up stands to raise money for food pantries, to young professionals making their way down to the Lower East Side, giving batteries and food to people who have not had any in many, many days. One of the communities that were hit extremely hard was Long Beach, Long Island. And we actually had the opportunity to have a Shabbat experience there a couple months ago. And it was such a warm uh, place. Uh, Rabbi Eli Goodman and his wife and family are an amazing couple that really have built up the Long Beach community. And unfortunately, now that community has been swept away. Let's learn more about what's happening in Long Beach. I'm here in Long Beach, New York, right outside my apartment. This was where my children used to play. This used to be the beach. See, we still have the water, but I'm not going to show you. Only a few feet away is my apartment over here in the boardwalk that's been totally destroyed. This is now post Hurricane Sandy. Look, you can see the waves went all the way here. We had chakras, we had davening Monday morning at the Bach. When I came home at about 9.30, we packed up, we left our apartment about 12 o'clock noon, and about 5 p.m. started the crazy winds. And you notice we have a concrete wall in front of our apartment. The whole wall is just fine. And the whole wall is totally destroyed. You can see part of our building over here, and this is our apartment. Take a look. We have a canoe right in front of our oh apartment my over gosh. here. Wow. This is our boardwalk. The boardwalk was flown for. for Hundreds of feet. This is my apartment. This is the front door. Oh, can't even get it through the door. Totally, it was a metal door, and uh, it was wrangled. You can see the the sidewalk, the concrete sidewalk, is totally destroyed and broken into many, many pieces. These are some of the boxes already that we took from Empire Kosher in uh, in Crown Heights. Right through the window. Oh, wow, you can only go through the window. We had about five feet of water. A lot of the sparring on the bottom I was able to save, but you see, you some of the bottom, you were probably nice. about half of it's destroyed. Our shots is on the floor. If you take a look at our furniture, all the furniture, clothing, there's a few personal items, but you see pictures oh right here. Wow. If you take a look over here, you get an idea of how high the water went. Right here we have the Mishnayas. Oh my god, Mishnayas on the floor. <laughs> so we need to put a lot of this stuff in Seamus, a lot of the Sfarim in Seamus. We have our kitchen over here. What happened to the refrigerator? Everything in the refrigerator came tumbling over. And uh, my wife and I, I came here about 3 a.m. when I saw the water receding. I came and take a look, climb through the crack in the door to see the situation and uh, my wife and I came back about 5 a.m. try to salvage a few things right now in the kids uh, you know it is just dark outside you just came in yeah so it was dark but we knew the water receded it was safe to come in and this is our kids bedroom a few things we're able to save a few things are in boxes but a lot of the kids toys been totally ruined And we have a few feet of uh, sand and mud, apparently, in our apartment. Take you to the bedroom and I'll show you. So many on this farm will wash the Sorry, farm. Bailin. These were our sandbags over here. Look, our sandbags that were by our door were totally washed away. Oh my See gosh. over here. These are sandbags that you're trying to protect your home. Oh, trying to try to protect the home. And this is, I don't know, it's a lot of our personal belongings. We're all just strewn, flying away. Wow. Oh my gosh. The water didn't get as high in our bedroom, but at least the lower levels and clothing totally taken away. Rabbi, what are you going to do? Well, you can see 
So we have quite a few feet of uh, sand. We're actually at this Shabbos at the Bach. We also went out at, at the synagogue at the shul over there. We have about six feet of water. We're meant to have a bar mitzvah this Shabbos. So we don't know what we're going to do. Hopefully we're going to get the water out with generators. But we're looking for help. There's a lot of damage at the synagogue. We have a lot of damage at the synagogue. Thank God the Torahs were okay. But there's a lot, a lot of damage at the, at, at the synagogue, at our shul. And our community is suffering. There's going to be a lot of people that need places where to stay. There are people that need food. There are people that need shelter. There are people that need to take care of whatever it is for their family. And uh, we're really going to work hard. We're going to try to raise the funds, try to rebuild our community. It's a beautiful community. And a lot, a lot of people helping us out personally and looking after the shul and trying to do what we can. But we need all the help that we can from anybody across the globe, throughout the U.S. If people are able to help out, whether it's computers, whether it's whatever they possibly have, storage facilities, whether it's uh, you know the, kitchen, the, the social hall by the shul, the kitchen, the bathrooms, everything is totally destroyed and our personal belongings are, are totally destroyed and, and annihilated in every rich possible way. How long so is it going to be for, for people? They expect that there's not going to be uh, water and electricity for now is close to a month in the area so if we need generators and we're going to see what we can do. We have a bar mitzvah boy that just learned his parasha, prepared it. So I don't know what's going to be for this week and maybe we could do something for him and his family. And the community in general is going to need all the help we can have. This is, this is our Katrina right here and right there. We need to rebuild our shul. We need to rebuild the place where we've had so many Shabbos tables. How many people have been in our home? We've had hundreds and hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, through our home on our Shabbos table. And we want to be able to rebuild. and want to give these people the warmth of what Yiddishkeit and what Judaism is all about. And uh, we're going to need everybody's help to do it. But we're going to do it. We're confident. We have a positive attitude. We are going to make it with Hashem's help, with God's help. We will make it happen. And if anybody's able to help us out in any particular way, you name it, we need it. Whatever we could possibly do. It can even be, be hospitality or taking care of kids who need schooling. That's or right. We are our uh, some of the other Hebrew schools over there are totally flooded. That people are going to come to now our Hebrew school, which is in the public school, which is in one of the places over here. So we're going to be able to have an influx of people coming for programs for help. You name it, and we will need it. So whatever possible help we could receive will be most appreciated, and uh, you can reach us in a variety of different ways. It's a difficult time in New York City now, but you can make a difference if you have batteries, uh, non-perishable food. Uh, you just want to get involved. Uh, you know, get connected to your synagogue uh, or the tzedek, um, even repair the world. Uh, if you go to their sites, you can learn more about uh, volunteer opportunities. Um, to try to uh, make the best of a bad situation. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching.